want you to make welcome right now a couple of guys that uh, come from opposite ends of the country, met in Nashville, became a duo, and uh, now I'm out on tour with, uh, with Darius, working on their second number one single. Ladies and gentlemen, make a welcome. Here's Dan and Shane. I said I'm going to play drums, but I'm not good at drums, so I'll spare you all that. We're not very good at talking. We might be better at drums. I don't know. That's true. That's true. I play drums. I you guys got a guitar. I play drums. I mean, we'll freestyle if you get back down on a beat. We'll do a little jamming or something. Done. Yeah. What's up, man? Good to see you. Oh, good to see you. That's right. I feel like i got to turn into this mic, but I also want to look at you and have a conversation. <laughs> well, I want, I want everybody to give these guys a hand because they're a brand new single called From the Ground Up. is just about to go to number one, their second number one single. Yeah. Thank you guys for playing it, man. Being right. supporters for us and uh, y'all for listening to it. Just listen to the country music in general. You guys are awesome. Couple of things personal wise. You just had a birthday, right? I did, man. I turned 18, <laughs> so I'm legal now. I'm legal. <laughs> That's right. And this is your guy on the end, ladies and gentlemen, just got himself engaged. I did. I just heard it. Someone told me, he's like, yeah, man. I think like more people than that should be have said, man, you really outkicked your coverage. And I don't know how, what that means quite yet. Looking at you, Grover. Yeah, they're like, oh, man. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's like a compliment, like, oh, dude, she's really pretty, or like, you're really, really ugly. <laughs> that's what it is. Well, do you want to expound on who your fiance is? Yeah, her name's Hannah. Uh, she, we met in Arkansas. We're both from Arkansas. She was Miss Arkansas. And she's very beautiful. Lady, and I did outkick my coverage oh, a whole bunch. <laughs> Y'all, Is she on the road with James Bond? For she you. isn't right now. We're currently uh, moving to Nashville, so I wanted to live in Nashville, but she's getting all her stuff and getting ready to move there. So, have you, have you set a date? We have not yet. It, I think sometime in the fall next year. I thought you were going to say sometime in the future. <laughs> <laughs> sometime in the future, definitely. Definitely after today, probably. Uh, yeah. Well, see, uh, you guys are kind of, like I mentioned before, kind of from opposite ends of the country here. Uh, and you're from uh, up in Pennsylvania, right? I am, man. I was listening to the station every time I drive from Pittsburgh to Nashville. Oh, yeah. Pass right through. Uh, right on through, man. I'm, I'm sorry I'm a Steelers fan. I was going to say, you didn't have to mention, <laughs> didn't have to mention Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah. I root for the AFC North, and my mother, her whole side of the family is from Ohio, not too far from here. So, hey, I like it. I love you. I love everybody here. Hey, you're fun. from uh, down Arkansas, right? I am. Go Razorbacks. Ah! Not a single crickets, Razorback. Crickets. Oh, no. I, I was expecting a big old roar after Razorbacks for whatever. I lived in Arkansas for about three years. Where did I tell you? What part were you at? Little Rock. Okay. Yeah, about three years. So, well, anyway, well, we got a big show tonight. Been on tour with Darius Rucker. Uh, you had a number one song, uh, you know, uh, uh, earlier. Now you got the From the Ground Up, been ready to go uh, for number one. That's good feeling. It's good. Yeah, good, man. That's a special song, too. That's a song we wrote about our grandparents and, uh, you know, the love that they shared. Our grandparents were married for over 65 years each, which is just unheard of these days. And we just got to talking one day, sharing stories. And that song kind of wrote itself. So, like, an hour and a half later, we had written the song. And, I don't know, it's special on us, so to hear you know the fans sing it back to us at shows and hear it on the radio is like a, it's a dream come true. It's a really cool. Thing. Now you guys obviously met up in Nashville. Was it a, was it a, just a chance encounter that you got together and said, hey, let's be, let's be a duo? It was, man. I'm seeing like a, I'm looking down here, seeing some of this beer, and I think I saw a keg earlier. And Dan lived in this house. None of it. We didn't have any money. We were pretty freaking broke. But uh, Dan had this house, and it wasn't an amazing house, but you know what? It was special. It's called 507. I won't say the exact address. <laughs> There's one of these days the guy that owned the house is going to hear us talking about it, but it was rough and he had a party there and they couldn't afford heat so they had they had draped these sheets over the living room and uh, they couldn't afford heat but they did have a keg of like natty light or something really bad. PBR. That, PBR, yeah. It lasted for like two years. I think I met him that night and it was half full and it was, I think it's probably still there now, but yeah, we met and we were writing songs and uh, the very, very next day. So it was one of those things we met and, you know, just kind of were buddies and ended up writing together. And just kind of took off from there. We haven't stopped writing and, uh, and doing our thing. So. You remember, you remember the Jeff Foxworthy thing about uh, uh, how single people throw the best parties <laughs> because you can bust up everything they got and you're out 15 bucks. You know, <laughs> this was literally the worst house ever, man. We, I mean, there was no locks on the doors. It was bad. <laughs> I actually broke in the first time. Yeah, yeah. I just about cut my hand on the broken window. Open it up. I could sit up here for like four hours and tell stories about what we did to get by. We used to like sneak into hotels in the morning and steal kind of breakfast. <laughs> 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 
we would wait out behind CC's Pizza. We'd wait out in the parking lot at like 8:45 p.m. right before they closed because yeah. we couldn't afford the five dollars to pay for the pizza. So we would wait till they were throwing it away in the dumpster and we'd take the pizza. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. If any of you guys are struggling out there, we got some great tips. We should, we should open up a blog. Oh, yeah. You've been there. You've been there. Hey, believe it or not, I ran into a young lady. Her name was Pamela, I think. She says this is her 48th Dan and Shay concert. No way. Yeah. I don't even think I've been to 48. <laughs> I don't think I'm How are you? We love you. Thank you so much for coming to so many shows. We love you. Then I had another question that I want to pass along to you from uh, Melissa, who is out here somewhere. Melissa wants to know if Already Ready is going to be a single. Oh, it's just mine. That's one of our favorite songs we've ever written. That's uh, both of our, one of our favorite songs on the album, but it's a, it's a fun one to play live, you know, so you never know. There's a lot, of, a lot of things that go into picking a single. We always ask the girls in our lives, so if it was a girl who said that, she's probably right. I probably will be a single at some point. Girls are always right. Always got to trust women. But any, uh, any shenanigans going on on the tour here with uh, Darius? I mean, is, this, is this a practical joke? Kind of sure. off. Here we go. Right. I can't even tell you all the, all the great late nights that we've had with Darius. I mean, he's just such a great guy, and uh, this has really become kind of a brotherhood of I'm just a bunch of buddies, and it's been, you know, Michael Ray is a great guy, and so is Darius, so after the shows, we always we always hang out, and there's always a shot before the show, and things get wild, man. We're always good for a good time, and uh, I know you guys are. It's going to be a really fun show tonight. Yeah, be a fun time. In, in an interview, do you ever get anybody ask you if, if you're brothers? Yes. Did you? <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is a funny story. You know, if you look up on Google, like, top suggested searches, the, t the top two suggested search are, uh, the searches about Dan and Shay is our Dan and Shay brothers and our Dan and Shay dating. <laughs> Each other. So yeah, the answer yeah. is yes. The answer, we're just gonna spread that out there. Yeah. It's, it's hilarious. But now that, now that I got engaged, like it's died down a little bit, but I think some people still have, you know, their suspicions like De they're definitely definitely dating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, well, you got a meet and greet to get to, and, and uh, we'll let you do that. And so good to have you up here to chat with us a little bit, visit with us. We really appreciate it. Showtime tonight. It. Showtime tonight at 7 o'clock, right? That's right. All right, over here at River End, we got tickets to give away still, so get signed up for those. Ladies and gentlemen, put them together here for Dan and Shane, right? Make sure you tell your bartenders these are the, the best people in the house right here. And don't search Dan and Shane on Google. <laughs> and they're not dating. That's right.